I'm gonna teach you how to sign your first coaching client this month in four super easy steps. Y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. I'm a certified health coach as well as a full-time business mentor. You can find a ton of information on me here on my IG as well as on this channel. But if you're a returning subscriber or viewer, I'm so stoked that you're here because this type of episode or not, this is not the podcast, not an episode, but this type of educational video about sales, signing clients, especially for my brand new business owners who are trying to onboard their first clients, this type of video does really, really well. And I always get good feedback. And so I like to every quarter or so create some type of content surrounding how you can start onboarding actual clients into your business where you're putting in so much work, integrating so much value. And you're like, Hey, I want to start actually doing the work that I came here to do, which is coaching. Something I hear from my clients and people on my Instagram all of the time, even here on my YouTube comments is I feel like I have to be like a specialist in social media and an influencer and I'm doing all these things, but I'm not really getting to do what I came here to do, which is be like the service provider inside my business. So this type of training should really clarify for you how you can start doing the work that you came here to do. Even though you're probably spending time on all the other elements of business, like this is your bread and butter. Most of us don't start our businesses because we're passionate about the admin. It's because we do the admin because we want to be able to do the coaching. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Just quickly wanted to mention, as always, you guys, I can only go into so much detail in these videos. And the best way that I can help you is through one of my kind of concierge services for coaching. So the link down below will illustrate every single service that I offer everything from one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, and courses. They're super affordable options as well as more like advanced in-depth mentorship options. So check that out down below if you feel like you could use a little bit more advice in any specific area that we talk about today. So signing your first client as an online coach can feel like a really overwhelming feat, but it truly is somewhat scientific. And I feel like I talk about a lot of things on this channel that can be broken down in a very strategic way. This is going to be one of those things where we can really look at like four different steps or actions you can be taking, things you can be looking at in your business. that are going to facilitate you being able to onboard a client successfully into your business so you can actually take these offers that you've developed and these methods you've been creating and put them to use with a real person. And you don't need me to tell you this, but I'm going to anyways, because I love you. You need to be coaching if you want to be a coach. If you want people to believe in your services, if you want people to trust that what you have to offer is worth the price that you're asking, you need to actually be putting yourself out there gathering social proof and testimonials and not leaving it up to chance that people are just going to know that you are good at what you do. Start getting good at what you do and showcasing that on your social media platforms and you will start to see the magic happen in your business. It can be all too easy to get caught up in posting on social media and doing all those admin tasks that I was mentioning earlier and to kind of almost avoid like the client work because it really does feel a little bit more intimidating. Sometimes it can be the type of thing that puts you on the spot per se with actually using your skills as a coach, but it's so worth it. And remember when you're doing the admin, why you're doing it and it will reframe your mindset back into the right spot to do the actual coaching that your business is based around. So step number one, when it comes to you signing your first coaching client this month is getting very clear on your niche. If you think you already have a niche, you need to make sure that it's very specific. You're going to be breaking that down into your, who are you serving your, what are you helping them with or the transformation you create? as well as the how or the methodology that you are using. If you feel like you're being too general, things feel a bit watered down and confusing with your messaging and your content, it is time to visit for the first time or revisit this niching exercise. My best advice for you guys is to get your hands on my course, Discovering Your Niche. It's literally like $13. It's linked down below, but it will walk you through in a few very simple course modules, how to cultivate a specific niche statement. But if you feel like this is your month to start signing clients and you don't understand who exactly your target audience is, what you're providing for them, and really like how your brand integrates all those essential pieces, you are not going to see success in the sales realm. The next thing to be extremely aware of once you know who you're serving, the transformation you're creating is what is your actual service? If you're coming into a month with high hopes of closing sales, but you don't know what you're selling, this is a big issue. And some people do know like, Hey, I'm going to offer one-on-one -on -one coaching services and I'm going to feel it out and see what people need when I talk to them. 
I really want you to avoid that. I want to warn you against not being prepared going into sales scenarios or going into like sales oriented times in your business without a specific format for an offer because when you're speaking with someone that maybe has some intimidation around investing in themselves, or this is their first instance, like investing in a coach or a mentor, and you give them too many options or too much freedom to decide what they want to invest in, number one, they don't know what they want to invest in. They're looking for you to tell them. And number two, they're automatically going to gravitate towards usually the cheapest, shortest option, which is going to give you the least amount of time and resources to actually create a transformation. So my biggest advice to you is to dive into product and service development to know how many times am I meeting with somebody and across what time frame am I doing that? What is access to me look like through, you know, messenger or like, you know, internal accountability? What type of service or value am I providing within my offers? Am I doing education? Is it totally custom? Go in prepared and y'all, I have a ton of videos on this channel. I'll try to link a few down below that are on this like program development topic, but you need to have something in mind that you are proposing coming from a place of professionalism and great knowledge of what you have to offer. If you have a lot of skills as a coach that you know you wanna integrate into your products and your programs, if you have a lot of tools you wanna use that you know can be so life-changing for your clients, you're gonna to wanna to integrate them in an organized way into an offer that you can still customize to the needs of the person in front of you, but that isn't so like loosely put together that people don't understand what you're offering. Here is the hard truth of the matter, okay? If you come into a consultation with a potential client with a disorganized understanding or format for your actual service, that person is not going to spend a bunch of money or invest a bunch of time and trust in you because they will not have that rapport built. They're gonna go work with somebody else who presents them with a very clear picture of exactly what they're bringing to the table. If you wanna have the edge over your competition, develop a flexible level of preparedness where you can customize to the needs of your ideal clients within the program, but the program itself has a very organized and professional structure. This is exactly what I created like inside my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. For example, it's called the Elevated Coach Mentorship, but I have a very specific structure, a four month bi-weekly meeting, all the resources, everything is pretty standard for the people that invest in me because I understand what my ideal client wants and I only work with ideal clients. But within my sessions and within the program, once someone is signed up, we are able to customize our conversations, levels of support and accountability and so many more things based on who they are as a person within the bounds of the program. And it keeps expectations really level on the client's end. It protects me from unwarranted expectations from a client. And overall, it creates a really amazing container for success. This program development topic is a really big topic in and of itself. And like I mentioned, I have a lot of videos on my channel about this topic, but I also work on a customized plane with individuals who want to build offers in their specific niche. If that's something you need help with, feel free to shoot me an email or DM me on my Instagram. I'll put the handle right here. Okay. The next thing, obviously that you really need to master if you want to close sales this month is sales, but not just like sales. Like that word doesn't mean a lot. I really mean sales psychology in how to carry yourself in an actual sales call setting. So what I mean by sales psychology is understanding what it takes for someone to actually want to purchase what you are selling, to close a sale in a really authentic, trustworthy way. So the first step to understanding your ideal client and understanding their psychology when it comes to what, what makes them hit purchase, what makes them get out the credit card and make a buyer's decision. You need to understand who they are. You need to understand what they want, where they are now. You need to really be able to put yourself in their shoes. And this, happens because you know your niche really well and you've really dedicated time in that step one area. So that's the first important part of sales psychology and being successful when it comes to sales is being very niche and having a clear understanding of your ideal client base. The next thing, the next component of sales psychology is understanding the actual like format of a sales scenario, and what needs to happen. 
This means that you do not just walk into a consultation with an ideal client, give your elevator pitch and sit there and stare at them and wait for them to tell you what they want to do. It means you're able to carry a conversation, integrate that person into the conversation with you. And people do not make sales about conversation and that is incorrect. So that's something you should definitely be working on, but it means you can create this environment and this container for a really productive back and forth where in the end, both parties, you and your potential client are so satisfied and excited with the outcome. I teach a module inside my Foundations of Online Coaching program, which is kind of my core business coaching program, all about the energetics of a sales call or a sales situation understanding basically how to run a conversation where you're constantly ticking upward with the energy until you reach this peak of a closed sale and really high satisfaction on both sides. So again, if y'all are curious to learn more about that, let me know. But the idea here is that you're not looking for just a sales script that you're bringing to the table. You're looking for improvement of communication skills and how you can generate and continue authentic conversation with someone who's interested in the transformation you offer. And you need to communicate to them exactly how, which is your offer exactly how you're able to help them and what that sale or that transaction needs to look like to get to the starting line. And then on the more technical side of things, the fourth point I want to make here is about onboarding. Let's say you have the perfect sales scenario. You have a great ideal client who wants to sign up to work with you. What the heck do you do next? Well, you have to onboard them. This is everything from invoicing to writing and customizing a contract, setting a start date, distributing resources, you know, distributing not just resources for your program, but also information about what needs to happen prior to your first session. Being very standardized, very organized and professional here is extremely important. And onboarding can even extend into like bookkeeping and how you're keeping control of the funds that are coming into your business when you close a sale, what that needs to look like so that you can do your accounting and taxes correctly and you can estimate, you know, income into your business. So understanding what it means to onboard and transition a client from lead to sales subject to active client, like that process this needs to be very seamless and you want to have pretty much prepared yourself to initiate that process before you close a sale. So this is something that I talk a lot about with my clients. Everybody wants to be organized before they do close that first sale, but I want to encourage you to just dive in with both feet. And even if you were to sign a client today before you felt like you had your onboarding stuff totally figured out, it's okay. That can be like the fire under your ass <laughs> to get yourself organized, right? So don't hold yourself back on that front, but start poking around, pulling together your contracts and information and making sure you know what will happen when someone is ready to commit. So it can be a very seamless and professional process. Y'all, I hope this was helpful. I know it's a lot of information, but I think these are the top four steps I'd be taking if I was trying to start from scratch and sign my first client this month. I have a lot more information on this topic. There's so much that goes into going from like having an idea of wanting to start a business to actually working with active clients, but I'm more than happy Happy to discuss that on a custom Music basis if y'all want to reach out to me via email or via Instagram. I love chatting with you guys and I try to be as responsive as I can be. But if y'all have ideas for other things you'd like to see in videos, let me know. And if you haven't already, please do hit subscribe and like this video if you like this topic. The subscribe button and you pushing it really, really supports my channel. It shows me that you guys like to learn here. It opens doors for me to be able to teach in more in-depth ways than just on my short form platforms like Instagram and TikTok. And y'all actually liking videos that I post is great data for me to know what videos I should repeat or expand upon. So like that's kind of your vote of like, yes, I like this type of video or this topic. And I definitely look at and use that information. So. Thank y'all so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. I hope this video helps you to get out there and make some sales. If it does, let me know, send me a DM. I want to hype you up, but thank y'all for being here. I believe in you so much as always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.